Welcome back to KTN Friday Briefing. Before we get to uh, the guest anchor and of course having a chit chat, let me just introduce him to you. A short profile. Let's start with, of course, who he is. There you go. He was just here. So um, he is lead, a leading Kenyan entrepreneur with investments in media, manufacturing, property, management, and insurance. Let's now take a look at the uh, companies, different companies that he, of course, heads. Of course, we have the Hako Tiger Brands Kenya, the Capital Media Group that has, of course, the Capital FM, and uh, International House Limited. He is, of course, that, the chairman of this particular uh, building, International House Limited. He's also the chairman of DHL Worldwide Express Limited and Coca-Cola Nairobi. Roby bottlers and this is just a tip of the iceberg really he's done quite a lot let's take a look at some of the awards that he has been uh, fated with his he was honored as Africa CEO of the year this year actually in March last month by the Africa CEO forum and he's also the recipient of the elder of the burning Spear, and he's also the recipient of the National Order of Merit Medal this are just few of the awards that uh, dr. Chris Kirubi has been awarded he also sits in the you know, Harvard Global Advisory Council, among others. So he's a guy who's done quite a lot. And of course, uh, a leading entrepreneur, philanthropist, industrialist here in Kenya. Let's now go and get to know a lot about him. Seke, it's great to have you. I mean, your Twitter already is yeah. a buzz. Oh. Our, our SMS lines, I've never yeah. seen them like that, honestly. <laughs> yeah, this time you can just look at yeah. me, perhaps. Yeah, yes. just leave these guys alone. Let's yeah. have a chit chat. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to talk a bit about the, the award that you were given recently. Yes. Congratulations, first of all. It is in order. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you've received so many awards. What did this one mean to you? The Africa CEO Award. Well, this award came to me as a very major surprise mm -hmm. because um, I didn't know that we were being audited okay. around the world, mm -hmm. Africa especially, mm -hmm. and um, when I went to this uh, event in Geneva, mm -hmm. there were over 800 of us in that place and uh, people from every corner of Africa. And <coughs> when it was announced, uh, you know, the final award came just last. Mm -hmm. I did not even expect it. Mm -hmm. And uh, two of us, a Moroccan and uh, myself, won the, I think he was, a, yeah, mm -hmm. he, was, he was Moroccan. Mm -hmm. And myself got tied up for first class award. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was amazing. Okay. A lot of colleagues were there. Many Kenyan business people mm -hmm. were there. Right. And, uh, we literally had a party after that. I'm sure you like yes, you yes, like parties. Yes. No, that's no, it for was sure. very good. It, <laughs> it was, was very good, good to all right. to be with all your friends. Yes, and, and more so is it was important for Kenya. It was okay because a lot of news that goes from Kenya, especially from the media, mm -hmm. is just how disastrous we are. Mm -hmm. But here we were winning awards, mm -hmm. and uh, it it was very important because even the Equity Bank also won the banking awards. Okay, so. I, so it was a I good was, time for I was Kenya. proud. I All was right. proud that Definitely. I, and of course I helped to bring honors to Kenya. Which is a good thing, which is something that we should all strive to do. But let's talk about your, you know, you being a leader. Two days ago, I was at your office, and of course I was... <laughs> no, no. <Yeah. laughs> oh, okay. there, there's some things that, you know, stood out for me. First of all, um, I realized the cordial re relationship and, of course, mutual respect that you have between, uh, of course, you and your employees, you know. They were ve they're very fond of you. You. It's sort of like a family. Um, my CEO is probably watching uh, Mr. Sam Shule. I yeah. think we have the same thing with him. But yeah. um, for you, it's very, it's, it's, it felt very special. Is it something that you've actively and intentionally uh, decided to do to create that understanding? And how does it help in terms of being a CEO and a leader? You know, I spend more time at office than in my house. Mm -hmm. And therefore, office is my home. And uh, if you have a home that you don't have the right environment, mm -hmm. the right people, the people you can laugh with, the people you can consult, you know, it's not very easy. Mm -hmm. So in my office, I decided all the people who work for me, they are my friends, they are my colleagues. Mm -hmm. I remove the hierarchies and we are all on the same level mm -hmm. base and uh, they call me sometimes chairman, sometimes CK, yes. sometimes DJ CK. <laughs> and 
it is easy mm -hmm. to get the best out of people when you don't frighten them mm -hmm. when you are not dominating over them mm -hmm. you should not be domineering on your staff mm -hmm. they can't bring out their best All right so for me i i feel that people who give their life their time to work for me they deserve more they deserve more yes. and according to the presentation that i've just done about you, you've done quite a lot uh, for this country in terms of you know you're a philanthropist industrialist i mean you, if you go to wikipedia there's so many words that you know try to describe you know what you do and i'm i'm just wondering is there anything that up until now you feel that you still need to achieve do you have dreams like i would have of you know becoming you know something close to who you are do you have dreams let me tell you you got to dream in order to know where you want to go okay <coughs> you got to have a vision mm -hmm. i am proud that i was one of the few people who helped to make kenyan vision 2030 okay and this country has a vision and that's why kenya should do very well mm -hmm. unlike many countries in africa who do not have any direction where they are going so a vision is a directional map that shows you guides you mm -hmm. is a beacon mm -hmm. that makes you want to uh, get where you want mm -hmm. to go mm -hmm. and therefore my vision is like when you're in the desert mm -hmm. you look at the mirage by the time you get there the the water has moved yes. many miles away yes. Yes. my life is like that what? my life mm -hmm. keeps moving mm -hmm. i keep on working mm -hmm. so hard mm -hmm. i work harder now mm -hmm. than i worked ever before and why is why is that someone would you know assume that right now you have everything figured out mm, I've just never sit arrived. back in your corner office i've never arrived if i make one billion i want to make five mm -hmm. if i make five i want to make 20. Mm. okay i like to be a, a dollar billionaire not a a shilling billionaire all right so because you have power you can support more people mm -hmm. if you can do better you pull a lot of people along with you right. and um, this to me is a journey that has no end okay yes let's talk about what you've just mentioned that it is actually right now where you're getting to you know to to work even harder let's relate it to the youth of kenya right now the unemployment rate in kenya is at i think 40 percent and about 65 of those um are the youth uh, you're very passionate about young people you know you have the ask kirubi on twitter how can you advise or what can you tell you know young people who want it fast and want it now they have the one million in the bank and they think that this is it now you know a lot of youth they earn and spend mm -hmm. i try to help them by telling them earn save mm -hmm. and spend later when you have grown your wealth many people don't have patience they don't have long-term view of their direction where they are going and therefore it's important to talk to the youth it's important to to be an icon for the youth and this is what i try to do i go around universities i go around many schools talking to them i feel we all deserve to give youth better advice because you find in schools there's so much pressure from the lecturers they don't have time mm -hmm. to mentor mm -hmm. any individual youth mm -hmm. and they equally the professors in universities they are theoretical mm -hmm. they are not practical, practical. All right. so they, we we need to partner with the mm -hmm. with the theoretical people mm -hmm. in order to mold our youth for the betterment of this country of and, ours and right yes. now in kenya what would you say are the opportunities that have presented themselves for the young for young people right now i think one of the most important thing is what the president uh, uhuru kenyatta is trying to do creating funds to support the youth creating opportunities for youth to participate in tendering giving them 30 percent of whatever tenders there are mm -hmm. there we need to make sure that the youth are mentored to know how to do some of this business mm -hmm. we also need to appeal to the government that once the youth have tendered and they have delivered the goods mm -hmm. we should not follow the long route that all of us do suffer when our 
money is held by government for many many months yes. because the youth have very little capital mm -hmm. and if you interrupt their their cash flow then they cannot do another tender yes so we need to make sure that there is a rule there is a law that makes sure the money by business of the youth mm -hmm is paid to them once they deliver within two weeks all right that way they can also engage on another business okay. and i think this is where i fault whatever we are trying to do for them mm -hmm. but we also need to educate them mm -hmm. we need to create finishing schools where we take them and mentor them on type of businesses they want to be in if they want to be in tourism we take them to a tourism so, camp exactly. and train them. Okay. If they want to do road construction, mm -hmm. again we do the Perfect. same. So, okay. so there is a lot we can do. Mm -hmm. But you know, these ideas need to come from all of us. Mm -hmm. We don't need to leave government only to mm -hmm. contribute to the ideas. I like that you're right? mentioning, uh, you know, ideas. And someone had tweeted um, and asking that if they have an idea, how do they approach someone like you? You know, how, how can they get audience? with someone like you to listen to them and see if it could work well i think that is somebody who doesn't communicate with me mm -hmm. because i'm on twitter i'm on facebook mm -hmm. i'm on linkedin mm -hmm. I'm, i have asked kirubi on mm -hmm. i'm sorry to say on capital website mm -hmm. you can That's put fine. it on your on yeah. your site as so well they it's just free. need to look all we the need right is places. communication okay you know for me i'm not like uh, the big media when you said we don't want our material carried by <laughs> okay. by other people all right for me you can carry my material because you'll be helping me to spread the word all right and uh, let them ask uh, capital they can get my contacts Definitely. Or they can I, I, we'll put I it on our totally website talk to the youth all, all right. the time and okay. today there are a lot of them on the website Definitely. they're watching I'm, I'm and sure you you see that <laughs> yeah. yes 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 yeah. and yeah. because we're running out of time you know apart from the serious you know dr chris kirubi we yeah. know um you're the sort of person who interacts with you know the presidents you know and very you know senior people I around the world uh, do you have normal friends like you know like the youths you're talking about would call them tunguyas <laughs> I, I i have friends uh -huh. from right the bottom uh -huh. to the very high on top okay, okay. and i find it <coughs> very rewarding mm -hmm. because from those who are more powerful more senior to yes, me yes i learn my civility how they manage their affairs the the, the when when you meet the the ruler of uh, Abu Dhabi, mm -hmm. you know, he's, he's such a humble man, mm -hmm. and, uh, and yet this man body. has such a vision. Yes, yes. yes, yes. And um, it is only in this territory of his, you yes. say, mm -hmm. people take the sand to the sea mm -hmm. and take sea to the sand, and to the desert. To the desert yeah. so, so there are many things we can do in this country of ours. Right, right. And I believe, before I finish, uh, that we need to educate our youth mm -hmm. to be more proactive okay. yes, to yes. be less negative mm -hmm. to look at a government to support them yes, to yes. put their views mm -hmm. in a nicer way not mm -hmm. to say they have never earned anything mm -hmm. in this government they ne you know once you are negative mm -hmm. you remain negative forever if you are positive you find things happening for you that you did not even realize. Okay. So we need to see how life is all about. All right. Not negativity, not all, negativity the time. all the yes. time. Siki, I want us to walk to the news desk yet yes. again. Yes. Where you get to <laughs> introduce yet another story to us.